Hi, I'm Roman Schwal. I'm the guy behind Aquarius Watercolors, and I'm here at Jackson Studio to talk about my colors and about my story. I started my business adventure in early 90s as a distributor of Cremer Pigmente. I had an opportunity to look at the kitchen of making pigments. I had uh, pigments, resins, uh, binders, fillers, everything which was needed for making paints, but I was selling only raw materials. And since then, I was thinking about making paints. I was running the art distribution business, which I am still running today. So beginning was crazy. I uh, sent the watercolors to the artist. Some watercolors I sent to the shops I was cooperating with. And one shop told me, sorry, Roman, we like you, but we are not going to, to take your watercolor for sale. And we gave it to one of the best watercolorists. And he said, doesn't work. After there, after a few months, you know, I was imp constantly improving. That is the reason I'm, you know, I'm not able to make a big batches because I have my fuller machine is very small. Batch by batch, I improved my products. I adjust my products to be better, to work better. And uh, after a few batches, I know it was a good direction or not. Every paint has different ratio of binder, of uh, uh, brightener, of additives, of uh, glycerin, of honey, because every pigment needs different amount of those ingredients. Uh, and it took a lot of time to, to, to know uh, but now my experience is much better. I could name that I'm exp experienced man. So new colors are developing much, much faster than the, the old ones. So talking to artists, uh, they uh, gave me the power to try make good paints because they knew I have all tools and I know how to how to how to do it. They were quite different people. They were really kind people, and I started to make a friendship with many of them. Some of them are living in Krakow, some of them in Warsaw. But it's a, like a in Poland, it's like a one big family. So they told me, why don't you make paints? So they they uh, they were the catalyst, they ignition. So I was searching shops. What watercolors are we going to to buy? And almost every one of them are ask me one price, no groups, cheap ones, not too many colors, maximum fifty. Why should I make regular ordinary watercolors? Why I am able to make the extraordinary, unique, exceptional quality watercolors? I decided not to do it. So I say thanks to Polish shops and I go to the market in the world. And it was a right decision. Uh, my range has 180 colors now, and this is not my last word. Uh, most of them are single pigments, which is very important. I prefer to make single pigment paints because they are more useful for artists. They can mix their favorite colors by themselves. All I'm doing, I'm giving them a tools to do it. There are some unique pigments in my range made from the pigments which are hard to find. I'm finding them in many countries like Armenia, Germany, Italy, France, United States, Chile, Afghanistan. 
And during those 20 years of dealing with pigments, I made some friendships with the uh, pigment distributors and they offered me a lot of pigments which are widely available, but other companies does not run. They don't even know there are some pigments on the market. And for artist market, there are different pigments, there for plastic markets, there for building markets, but I'm searching those markets for pigments and I found few pigments which are not offered for artist paints. So I have a special line in my, uh, in my range, call them earth pigments. And all those paints are made for um, crushed and millet stones. They're all natural. I am not using in my sienas, ombras, okras, synthetic iron oxides, which are very easy to find, very easy to work with. I prefer to work harder and have a different, I'm not saying better, but have different effects. I got a Siena from the Monte Amiata hill and that Siena from Monte Amiata hill has a little bit different shade than Siena from Blue Ridge Mountains from the United States. Different content of uh, metals in uh, uh, pigments determinate color of the of the uh, quarry. Initial red is basically made by synthetic iron oxides. Plenty of earth colors are on an imitation, or on a name earth colors. Indian red, you are thinking about dark red with pink undertone. It's only the meaning of the name. You know, people name some color in the past and artists, art companies trying to match that color with the pigments we are available now. Because I have a small company and run a small production, the earth pigment I stocked already holds me for many years, which means the paint will be the same for many years ahead. I was studying chemistry and geology during my student's time, and it helped me a lot with my watercolor business. Uh, I was studying in Jagiellonian University in the early 80s. I'm old. Studying chemistry helped me to understand how the paints work and what the good paints should behave. Every pigment behave different. Uh, there are different nature of pigments, uh, different sizes, the particle sizes. Uh, some pigments flow, some pigments don't. Some pigments are very white green, some don't. So it's very important for us as a paint makers to work with pigments. Some pigments are finely grounded, some don't. Organic pigments were quite different than natural pigments. Mineral pigments were quite different than cadmium pigments. It's, you have to treat every pigment in the paint in different way. Honey is humectant and I'm adding honey into almost every of my paint, but every paint required different amount of honey. Let's say ambers required a lot of honey. Some organic pigments don't even want honey at all. I believe um, one of the most underestimated colors is buff titanium, uh, which has a hidden, hidden mixing potential. If you would like to decrease the color strength of another paint, mix it with buff titanium. Um, buff titanium, it's a titanium white contaminated by a mineral called ilmenite. The more ilmenite contained the buff titanium, the more, more gray it is. The most 
uh, contaminated in my range called Grey Titanium. At the beginning, when I start making paints, I was thinking about uh, making paint tubes. Pans are very popular in uh, Poland, are very popular in uh, Eastern countries. And my first goal was to sell those paints in, in Poland. And I decided to start from full pans only because we're a niche in that market. Not many companies are using the full pans as the uh, size of, of, of their paints. It wouldn't be possible to fill my pans by machine because of high viscosity and low water content of my paints formula, so I have to fill them by hand. I have custom made triple row machine with the stone cylinders for making watercolors in pans, but making watercolor in tubes forced me to buy a bigger one, the steel triple row machine, which will be running shortly and making the watercolor in tubes for you. I'm running a small factory. I wouldn't even call it factory. It's like a manufactory. And because the size is small, I cannot compare with the big ones. So I had to find a niche, how to survive. And because it's a small company, it has to be run in a different way than the big companies. It's like a family business, small family business. In the paint divisions, there are seven people. One is running triple row machine, and the other ones are involving in uh, filling and labeling. I get up usually early. <laughs> I'm eating breakfast and going to work, and my work contained of uh, many duties. I am the guy who is answering all customers' questions. I am the guy who is ordering pigments from the pigments company. I'm the guy who is uh, dividing the roles, what to do in the company for the day or next few days. I am the selling department, I'm customer service department, I am the guy who is contacting retailers, I'm the guy who is doing everything in the company. I'm the head. I always forcing artists to try my paints, even they don't believe there are some other world besides the big brands paints. Uh, usually they are not disappointed. Sometimes they cannot say a good word because they are tied with the contracts. But on her face I see the smile. 